Hello, hello, hello. Hey guys. What's up, what's up, what's up? Come on in. We're doing a special live today with Whitman Walker since my Thursdays are normally um, Thursdays. It's Thanksgiving this week, so we moved it up to Monday this week just to talk a little bit. So come on in, just having a nice little live, saying hi to everyone. How's everyone doing? Hey, Brendan, how are you? Good, how are you, Orlando? Doing good. So off schedule, I'm like, wait, it's Monday. <laughs> yeah, I know, we're switching it up this week. I almost forgot, I remember we talked on Friday and you were like, yeah, I'll get back to you. And then I like read the email and I didn't even think about it. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, that's why I do a checkup on Fridays and Mondays in case I miss something. Beautiful. <laughs> Do you know what you're doing for Thanksgiving yet? No, I mean, not really. I'm not trying to go anywhere. Family's like, maybe, no, probably not. It's too much That's going on. I'm just going to relax this weekend and just maybe go have dinner somewhere. That's awesome. Support the local business, you know. Yes, we love supporting local business. For sure. Hey, everybody, come on in, come on in. So I was just saying, since Thursday's my live day with Women Walker, uh, but it is Thanksgiving, so we're not going to have it this Thursday. So we moved up to Monday just to have a little chat, chat, chat about COVID-19. And, you know, we know it's the holidays coming up. So we're just giving you guys some updated information on COVID. So come on in, uh, pay attention, or check us out later. This will be back on Women Walker's page, so you can uh, see it later if you're busy right now. But uh, for those of you that don't know, I'm Orlando. Uh, my pronouns are he, him, and his. I have been working with Whitman Walker as an influencer, social media influencer, just helping out, um, you know, spread awareness, spread information um, on specific topics with, you know, HIV, STIs, along the lines of uh, just taking care of ourselves. And now with this pandemic, COVID-19, we've also um, added that to our topics. So... Uh, during the past few months, the community, uh, Whitman Walker Community Health Department has expanded its outreach efforts to social media uh, platform. We cover various topics about HIV, STI, sexual health practices, access to care, social detriments of health, general public, and health interventions. Our series of outreach sessions also focus on COVID-19 and how to manage your sexual, personal, and mental health. The community team is here to educate you and support you. So thank you all for joining us today. Our conversation is updates on COVID. So I know there's a lot of information. So most of this, you know, we got from the CDC. So you can always log on to the CDC um, or hit up Whitman Walker for any specific questions you have. So we'll be able to help you out with those. So as we've heard, you know, uh, this area has been more restricted these days. Uh, the cases are rising. Um, the hospitalizations, the deaths across the United States are also rising. And now that the cold weather is moving in, people spend more time indoors and the holidays are approaching. So we need to take steps to slow the spread of COVID-19. So make sure you wear your mask over your nose and your mouth. Um, you know, it's very important. Don't wear them wrong. If you are in a place that you're going to be for longer than a period of 10, 15 minutes, uh, make sure you cover up your nose and mouth. Don't get too comfortable in any area. We're not sure. We love you too, guys. We're not sure how, when, um, what kind of air ventilations they have. So if you know you're going to be inside more than 15 minutes, you know, make sure you're covered up. Uh, keep your hands clean. Keep your hygiene clean. Super important. Uh, try to stay six feet apart uh, unless you're with your crowd, your quarantine crowd. I know it's rough these days, you know, meeting up with friends, but just try to be as safe as possible. Avoid crowds. Wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. If you're not sure what 20 seconds is, keep counting. <laughs> if you count too fast, count to 40. You know the deal. Just uh, count slowly. I'd rather, uh, you know, wash my hands too long than not wash my hands long enough. So that's super, super, super important. Right now, the cases um, are about, let's see, 12 million 28,081 plus 184,591 new cases. The cases in the last seven days per 100k are 51. 
So total deaths are 255,076 uh, plus new deaths that are about 1,476. 1, 1, now, that's total what, that we got information from the CDC. But also in the DMV area alone, the DC cases uh, per 100K last seven days were 23.3. Cases in the last seven days were 1,147. Total cases were 19,961. And cases per 100K were 2,842. Deaths per 100K were 95. So this is just in DC, all right? So for Maryland, we have the DC cases per 100K in the last seven days were 38.3. And the cases in the last seven days, 16,209 total cases were 182,139. And cases per 100K were 3,014. Deaths were 73. So deaths per 100K, so 73. So these numbers are getting super high, guys. So we got to be very careful in the DMV area. So we're trying to get information out to you guys since we are the DMV. In Virginia as well, DC cases per 100K in the last seven days were 26.6, which about 13,836. Total cases were 217,797. Cases per 100K were... 2,557 and the death cases per 100k were about 46 so you can imagine those are high 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 numbers um, in our DMV area so we got to be super careful um, individuals are advised to get tested three to five days after possible exposure so if you think you might have been somewhere that you were there too long or you think someone had it or you found out found find out someone had it you know because we are signing a lot of waivers to go eat places or go sit places so make sure that if you uh go somewhere you know make sure they have contact tracing that way they can contact you if somebody tested positive in that area or if somebody tested positive at that location they'll be able to call everyone who has been there and let them know that there was uh someone that tested positive before or after you guys have been there so that way you can get tested and as well um, to reduce the likelihood of getting a false negative, if you're tested one or two days after exposure, there's a greater chance that even if you are infected with the virus, you'll probably get a negative result. So make sure you wait at least three to five days if you think you got exposed. Testing has its limitations. Testing does not replace the need to wear masks, social distance, or practice good hygiene. A negative test today could be a, pos a positive test tomorrow. So be super, super, super cautious of where you're going, how you're covering up, um, hand sanitizer, washing your hands, whatever you can do. Uh, and I know, you know, plenty of people have been safe as myself and super safe, super, super. And, you know, um, still was able to catch COVID. So you never know. Being as careful as careful and it's still possible. And you, it's really hard to know where, how, how come that just try to be as careful as possible. So we also have a few more tips around COVID-19. Uh, remember that a mask alone uh, cannot protect you from COVID-19. All right, so that's true. We have some comments in here. It's good to keep a contact journal, especially if you go out and are around friends and family. Very good, that's a very good idea. Thank you, thank you, Cara. So if you know you're gonna be out, whether it's work, whether you have to go work and you're around people or you know you have your circle that you are hanging out with, keep a journal. That's super helpful to help you know who you were with, when you were where, and who you need to call in case you know a positive result does come, about, come up. Uh, maintain your six feet distance from others with the expectation of the folks you live with. But again, if you are going out or you have to work or you have a side gig, then still, even your people at home, try to keep your distance, you know, clean those doorknobs, uh, clean anything that you touch in a group. So if everyone's in the kitchen, make sure you clean the kitchen anytime you're in or out of it, just in case. Um, don't forget to wash your hands at least 20 seconds to keep you healthy and to prevent the code, uh, the spread of COVID-19. And we talked about this earlier, when you are wearing your mask, make sure it covers your nose and your mouth in public settings or spaces where it's hard to maintain uh, 
physical distance from others. Yes, I have masks and I have little shields, like whatever I can to be uh, extra helpful. Carry your hand sanitizer at all times. If I have space in my bag, I'll carry a little bucket of um, Clorox wipes, you know, in case you want to sit outdoors and you don't know if those areas are, are cleaned or anything, make sure you have some Clorox wipes uh, or be able to clean any spaces you're touching. Uh, if you are experimenting symptoms related to COVID-19 or have no symptoms that you have been in spaces that are hard to practice social distancing, uh, for example, protests or just in an area that there is no way to be socially distant. Um, so make sure you, you can call our Whitman Walker team at 70, uh, sorry, 703, that's VA, it's DC, 202-745-7000 to schedule an appointment for COVID-19 testing um, at our North Northwest or Southeast Health Centers. So for those of you that don't know, Whitman Walker is in DC. So you can follow them on Instagram, um, Twitter, Facebook, get all the information. Also, you know, provide STI, HIV tests. So if you know you need to get tested, please call, 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 call. So how are you guys doing? How are you guys holding up? What are your plans for Thanksgiving? Uh, what's something you think might be helpful to share that we can all do to stay safe and be super, super, super cautious? Thanks for the comments, guys. I like that. So as someone mentioned earlier, uh, keep a journal if you're going out. Thank you, Saul. You stay safe as well, everyone. We love it. We love the love. How about you, Brendan? Anything planned for Thanksgiving? So I actually celebrated Thanksgiving last night with my roommates because one of them is going home. And then I'm kind of just planning on being pretty chill, low-key, on Thursday. I'm going to probably volunteer at a food pantry and then have, like, some mac and cheese that night, like nothing too big. Right, that sounds good. Yeah, I was maybe thinking about dinner Wednesday, because I'm not sure if people will be open on Thursday to go eat out. They'll yeah. probably be closed. But yeah, I mean, don't forget as well, guys, um, if you have any questions about getting tested, we have, uh, I put the email down here in the pin. So if you look at the information, there's a phone number and an email. The email is to make appointments with Women Walker. So if you think you might have been exposed or you need to go in and get tested, uh, please email or you can call the phone number as well. Um, make sure to follow them on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, we'll try to get on here as much as possible every week, me and the other social media influencers, so we can share information, any updates we get. Um, pretty much this week before Thursday, we'll be talking about COVID. So, you know, come back tomorrow. We'll have another one of our social media influencers who will be joining us to give us more information. And be sure to follow IG, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Whitman Walker, for most up-to-date information. And we also have our youth team for Instagram, for any of those who have a younger crowd, uh, at RealTalkDC underscore. And for our cultural center, you can join the Corner DC. So those are other pages that are affiliated with Whitman Walker for cultural and for youth team. And again, don't be shy. If you have any questions, hit us up in the DMs. Uh, if I can't answer you, I'll direct you to Whitman Walker. So get you the correct information. Don't forget to stay safe. And you've heard the orders, no more than 10 people per gathering. So I know some of you are probably going to not listen, but be careful. Be careful where you're going. Ask who's going. Ask questions when you decide to go somewhere. Just to stay safe for your own sanity. All right. Um, thank you all for joining. My name is Orlando. Thank you, Brendan, for coming in. Yeah, I just want to answer one more question in the comments. Oops. No, you Let's don't see. need to be a DC resident in order to get a test at Whitman Walker for COVID. What was that? I didn't hear you. Someone asked if you had to be a DC resident to get a COVID-19 test at Whitman Walker. And no, you can, you can be from DC, Maryland, Virginia. We'll, we'll see you no matter what. Exactly. Yeah. Give them a call. And if you're not from DC, they'll still make an appointment for you. And that way you can plan it. Especially if you're in the area, we'd love to help. But uh, just make sure, uh, you know, to be patient because we are receiving a lot of calls, not just for COVID testing, but for other testing. So be patient. I'd uh, probably be best to send an email. That way they'll get back to you in order that we received it. Calls are iffy because if the phone's busy all day, it's going to get pushed back until they're able to answer your call. So be super patient, be super cautious, 
and definitely be super safe. Um, we want to see you guys in the following weeks. We want to see you guys in Christmas. And we want everyone to stay as healthy as possible. We love you guys. Have a great evening. Thanks, Orlando. Good night. Thank you. Take care.